Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the first day of November 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Atmix so we can check out those live spot prices. But before that, tonight we have a very special auction. It is a trading card, baseball card auction tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm trying something a little different. It's going to be all cards. And then today at 10.30 a.m., uh, this is going to be a good morning to you with tiny numismatics. And that may have to go back to 9.30 a.m. Something's come up, and I'll tell you about it in this morning's show. Now, let's head over here to Amex. Looks like gold is up $9.10 to $16.56.90. Silver is popping up $0.57 cents to $20 even, Stephen. Platinum up sixteen twenty to nine sixty two thirty, and palladium's up twenty six thirty to eighteen ninety six. Even Stephen, now let's head over here to the United States Mint to their bullion sales and seeing how today is the very first day of November, and uh, the United States Mint had an opportunity to report sales for the last day of October, twenty twenty two, and nothing was changed. We got bupkis there, so nothing happened at the United States Mint's bullion sales, which um you know it begs the question: Will there be anything? sold in November from the United States Mint, whether it's going to be silver or gold bullion coins. Interesting questions. Now, here we go. So the United States Mint sent out an email yesterday and, um, you know, to all the numismatists, and there you go, coins online, October 2022. And this is a heads up from the United States Mint. And usually when the Mint gives a heads up, we better heed what it is they're trying to tell us. Okay, so here we go. Popular subscriptions are filling up, and they've warned us in the past about this, and it, and it is um, something we should heed. Okay, here we go. It's still 2022, but 2023 subscriptions are filling up quickly. Absolutely. Um, we already know what happened to the um, um, American Silver Eagles. Okay, gone. You cannot enroll neither proof from San Francisco or West Point, New York. So there's that to consider. Now it says here, whoops, it says no surprise. It's no surprise that customers who love the ease of our subscription program are using it to secure next year's most popular coins and medals. And let's face it, you know, when you're on the Mint website and it's noon and the product is dropping, we don't know whether there's going to be bots that we have to um, go up against. And let's face it, nobody's that quick. So this is a really good way to avoid uh, going to war with the bots. I and mean, that's the Mint's job. That's their thing, not ours. So if they could take care of that, that'd be great. But listen, if there's something you really want and it's available for subscription, I highly recommend that that's what you do. Now it says here, these feature all of our annual coin sets as well as our flagship coin programs like American Eagle, Morgan and Peace Dollars. Subscriptions are the best way to purchase from US Mint. Don't take my word for it or do. It's your life. Live it however you see fit. <laughs> Well, the mint's getting spicy. I like that. That was pretty funny, actually. Um, <laughs> live it however you see fit. It's up to you what you really want to do. So there you go. And not only um, do you not have to uh, mess with the drop that day, you actually get free shipping, too. So that's really nice. And that free shipping counts toward the loyalty program. At least it has in the past. Not sure what's going to happen for 2023. See, now there's only two months left of 2022. So there you go. It says subscribe now. And i um, not sure why it shows the Armed Forces medals for popular subscriptions are filling up. But that might be an indication that these Armed Forces um, silver medals may be uh, filling up. Now, also, you've got the 2022. And this is a product coming out. This is the very last product. And I think it's coming out in about two short weeks um, on November 14. It's the 2022 American Innovation $1 coin reverse proof set. And I think this is a must-have for any uh, American Innovation coin collector. Now, you probably noticed that it is in, well, one lens now and not in four separate ones like they used to do. I mean, they are saving paper, no doubt about that. But really, um, wouldn't that be cool if there was a QR code in there that we could have a portal on the US Mint website where it would talk about each one of these innovations and a little bit more about it. Maybe even kids can use it in school. Now, let's head over here to the United States Mint. And um, I already showed you the product and uh, subscriptions for the American Silver Eagle from West Point, New York and San Francisco for the two proofs. The uncirculated is still available. And honestly, if these are going that quick, I imagine this might be going very soon. I mean, going meaning gone, right? So what is available, and it's kind of not too shocking because the Mint said in their um, brochure that they sent out over the summer this year that they were going to be upping the totals on the subscriptions for the American Women Quarter. So right now, if you are interested in these, now's the time to do it, I would think. And if you're not familiar with what some of the designs for 2023, well, let me show you here. So this is coinnews.net, and this is October 31st, my guns are dated uh, I already said they didn't. I? October 31st, written by Mike Unser. Title 
okay, is 2023 American Women Quarter images unveiled. And there they are. And let me show you without all the noise of the writing and everything. So the first one we're going to have here, February 14th, is the Bessie Coleman release. That's amazing. And then this is Edith Kanaka Ole. And look at that. That's this one, this one, and this. these three are my favorites so far. This uh, Edith Kanaka Ole, uh, love that with the 25 cents right there. That's hardly ever, if ever, spelled out. Look at quarter dollar, quarter dollar, uh, and quarter dollar. So you got 25 cents written out there. So if you can't read, you know what it is. That's amazing. Isn't it? And then... She's one with the land. I think that's incredible. And then obviously this one is so next level. And there might have been another country that has done something like this. But remember, this is the United States Mint, okay? Yeah, look at all that dead space on either side. It's incredible. And um, I would say that that's going to be a really tough one to pull in a high mint grade, considering, I mean, that's just like a bullseye waiting to happen, all that area. But that's what makes it so incredible, is all that dead space, you know. Uh, they didn't fill it and jam-pack it with everything they could. The person is the important thing here. I think that's why they did that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, it is, what, to Monday or Tuesday? It's Tuesday, okay? And um, the United States Mint sent out their anime Wong products, okay, for the tw last last of the American Women Quarters for 2022, all right? Now, I've got here Anime Wong Quarter. I've got newly listed, 497 results, and these new listings go on and on and on till the break of dawn. Look at this, on and on. I'm telling you, new listing, new listing, new listing. So look at that, 140 free shipping for the Anime Wong, and I think that's a mistake by these folks, considering the fact that number one, well, let me show you here, all right? Number one, these quarters here, and this is the reason why they're available, are, well, let me show you the numbers here. Let me go bam, bam, bam. Okay, look at this, 12,620. That was an increase of 5,000, folks, of what it normally is, all right? That is incredible, 5,000 more than it was 6,720, now it's 12,620. So that's an incredible increase. Same with this, the uh, two roll set had an increase of 3,200, and then the bags, I believe, had the largest increase by like 6,000, um, that's just incredible. So what that does for 2022 is, I would think it make them more valuable seeing how they're the less minted out of all of them. And, and not only that, check this out, let's go to the bottom of the screen here. And I'm going to show you these close-ups of these images. There's Bessie Coleman. There's Edith Kanaka Ole. There's um, Eleanor Roosevelt and uh, Yoviti Dar. And then we got Maria Tolchi. But that's not what I want to show you here. Look at this. This is the 2023 obverse. And we know from comparison and contrasting that this is a type 2 mouth right there. So the mint has changed the 2023 quarter, the mouth. Because not only is it... Um, filled in more here inside here but the curvature okay goes around and then kind of back out whereas before in 2022 it was just more of a curve so we're lucky ducks in that area isn't that incredible so we got a type one type two that's you're looking at uh 2022 is a type one 2023 is going to be the type Two. Now, if the United States Mint does encounter more errors with that mouth and the nose, I call it the witchy poo no nose with all the warts on it, and there's a drooling error, that's what they're trying to get rid of is that drooling error, okay? And if they're able to get rid of the drooling error, I imagine 2024 will not see any changes. But if it continues, I imagine there will be a type three. Wouldn't that be incredible? Now, our good friend Dennis D sent us something because let's face it, we know that these mint products have been shipping, and since they've been shipping, people have been opening them up, and people have been listing them up on eBay. Well, our good friend Dennis D. sent, a, uh, sent us an email overnight, and bam, would you look at that? He got this out of a mint roll, and uh, it looks like a third eye above her left eye over there. However, it is a strike through, and that right there is a, well, it's part of her left eyebrow, and then right below that is the strike through, but it looks like the shape of of an almond or maybe an eyeball and that gives an impression of the third eye wouldn't that be incredible if it was like right over here i'm telling you folks these errors it's all about where they're located and that is really cool so it got me to thinking how many other people have listed their errors on ebay well let's go check this out there's five results now this is the uh, feeder finger error from the mint bag look at that that's pretty brutal and they're selling it for over 25 dollars it looks like almost um then you've got this 2022 anime one quarter error and god we rust well it maybe isn't that extreme but it's getting close and then look at this so and that's from also a mint bag as well 2022 p and god we rust uh and that i've got to show i got pictures close-ups now check this out that's a strike through on an s so that just came and look at this another strike through on an s let's go over here to the photographia 
and we're looking here. I don't know why we showed that. Oh yeah, that's the in God we trust. But really, it looks like the I and the T are faded away. So you're only seeing the N and then God we rust. That's pretty trippy. Isn't that wild? Now let's go over here to this. Oh my goodness. This is a Philadelphia 2022. This is the uh, obverse and that is the reverse. Okay, there you go. So look at this. Milk spots galore uh, right here on his face and his nose. He's got some sinus infection, just sneezed or something. I don't know what's going on there. And then as you can see, the lines, look at those lines go all the way from um, this position here around uh, what, 8.30, 9 o'clock and go all the way up here to about 11.30. I mean, that's just incredible, incredible um, portion of the radius on that coin. And even here. Um, so yeah, there are some errors that are showing up. And now that uh, our friends have sent us emails and they're showing us that these are being found in the Philadelphias, um, and that's the reason why we check out, um, well, we get an extra roll or something so we can check out those heirs. So listen up, folks. Are you going to look for heirs? Are you going to leave them sealed? And if you do find heirs, would you share them with us? That would be outstanding. Now let's head over here to the plus ones today. Good luck uh, finding those. Now, what's the best air to breathe if you want to be rich? Well, I would think it'd be millionaire or billionaire. I think that'd be great. Now, pleasant words. Now, this is Proverbs 1624. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. And imagine what the opposite would be. Like unpleasant words are probably unhealthy and not sweet, right? Mm, yeah, so we better check ourselves. What we're saying our words is very important very 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 important it can it's everything yeah remember when i uh, was telling you god how he created the universe did it with spoken words yeah well if we're made in that image what do, how i mean how powerful are our words right yeah whoops better think about that now sit over here to three nines five ninety nine point nine ko and coin news radio this is mr mr broken wings good stuff hope you enjoy it looks like miami somewhere so there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you heard, see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Hope you to see. Hope to see you this morning at 10:30 uh, a.m. Going to probably be changing it back to 9:30. Uh, had something happen. I'll explain it to you uh, this morning. And then tonight we're having that uh, trading card auction. Hope to see you there. Son of a silver stacker. Out.